Hi guys, this is lesson three of module three, and this is video two. So as you can see on the board, we have two thirds times six and a tape diagram, right? So two thirds times six is the same as two thirds of six. So think of the times table sign as the word of, okay? So far, we've just been saying, what is two thirds of six? Now we're gonna go straight to two thirds times six. Okay, but it means the same thing. So do you think your product is going to be larger than six or less than six? It better be less than six, right? Because you can see right here, it's gonna only be these two blocks. All right, now could you please take notes for this um, on, Notes. page 23, which would be the page between your two um, sprints there, or you could also do it on the bottom of your sprint page. Please take notes by writing down what we have written here, write down two thirds times six, draw the tape diagram, write everything that you have on the screen. If you need more time, feel free to pause me. Okay, so two thirds times six. We see that three units is equal to six. And I want you to get practice writing this down, thinking about your three units, one, two, three, being equal to six. And one of your units is gonna be equal to six thirds, right? And one of the reasons I want you to get used to writing this down is because we're gonna be using this for harder problems coming up soon. So practice writing three units is six, one unit is six thirds, two units is two times six thirds, and hmm, it says it's equal to four. Doesn't really show the math, so let's make sure we think about that. Remember that I said that two is really the same as two over one, and we're multiplying that times six thirds, so that would be 12 thirds. And that means 12 divided by three, which is four. There we go. All right, make sure you have that all written down. And we can see that two thirds of six is four. Excellent job. And if you need to pause me, pause me now, because I'm gonna erase. All right, there is another way to show two thirds of six and it's something we've been talking about a little bit, but let's just look at it formally with our tape diagram. Two thirds of six is the same as two times one third times six, right? Because two thirds is the same as two times one third. All right, so here we're just breaking it down into two parts. We're actually going to, instead of two times one third, we're actually gonna multiply one third times six, which is six thirds, right? One times six, six, one times three is three. And then multiply that times um, six thirds. And here they change their six thirds to a two because six divided by three is two. And then they got two times two is four. And it's the same answer as what we had in the last slide. We just went about it a little bit differently starting by changing our two thirds to two times one third, because we know that this is one third and this is one third. So two of those, and then multiplying our one third by our six. And we can do that because multiplication, we can switch the order in any way. All right, so that's something we're gonna be practicing today. Of course, you can use either method, right? Okay, make sure that you have this written down as well. You need to have this written down. If you don't, pause me and get that written down. I'll be expecting to see that in your notes. Awesome. Now we have four fifths of 12. Okay, four fifths of 12. Let's try drawing a tape diagram. All right, make sure you're writing this down in your notes somewhere. And this tape diagram is going to represent 12. How many parts do we need to make this tape diagram into? Remember that the number on the bottom always tells us the number of 
parts. Very important. Denominator, number of parts. And we're going to be looking at four of those parts. So let's just get a different color. And let's just draw a line across those four parts. So we know the four parts that we're looking at. Okay. Now, like we said, we have two different ways to do it. Let's do it both ways. Make sure that you are writing this down. If you don't have any space in your book where you can write it down, get a piece of lined paper. You do need to take notes. Okay, so 4 fifths times 12. We could do 4 fifths times 12, right? Okay, and if it helps you to put a 1 underneath, that's totally fine. You know, if that helps you, 4 times 12 is 48. And 5 times 1 is 5. So that means that all of these yellow blocks are going to be 48 fifths, right? 4 fifths. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 out of the total. 5 out of the 12. So 48 divided by 5 right? 48 divided by 5. 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 9 is 45. I think that's the biggest we can get without going over. And then we're going to subtract 8 minus 5 is 3. And that leaves us with 9 and 3 fifths. So 9 and 3 fifths. Okay, so does it make sense that 4 fifths of 12 is 9 and 3 fifths? Well, yes, because it's less than 12, but it's most of 12. All right, now let's think about doing it the other way. So we want to think about 1 fifth times 4, right? That would be our 4 fifths times 12. Now we can multiply those in any order that we want, but since we broke these apart, let's do 4 times 12. 4 times 12 is 48. 48 times 1 fifth would be 48 fifths. And then we still need to divide to change it from an improper fraction to a mixed number of 9 and 3 fifths. All right, so two different ways to look at it. Uh, let's try one more. Make sure that you're taking notes. If you need to pause me, do that. Okay, let's try 3 fifths of 10. So start with our tape diagram. All right, focusing on tape diagrams today. And how many pieces do we need to break it into? Think about our denominator. And our denominator, we have five parts, right? Five parts. One, two, three, four, five. Four lines makes five parts. And this is a total of ten. We're going to be looking at three fifths, one, two, and three out of the five parts, right? So three fifths times 10 over one. Three times 10 is 30. Five times one is five. 30 divided by five is six. Okay. Can we think about doing it the other way? Can we think about one fifth times three times 10? We could multiply these two together. That would be 30 times one fifth, which would be 30 fifths. And then we still need to divide 30 divided by five and our answer is still six. All right. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you and I appreciate your hard work. Aloha.